Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you what a rune is, R-U-N-E. So strings are a sequence of characters. Each character is represented by Unicode, and Unicode is essentially a, a you know, you can think of it in, in relation to a rune. A rune is an integer which represents the Unicode, you know, particular point. So if I create a string, so if I put a string called epic string, and I put the key, I mean the text in there, hello world, we put our special character, that is fine as well. And if I was to print out, if I was to print out epic string dot code units, Let's see what we get. So we get 72, 101, 108, 108, 111, 32, 87, 111, 140, 108, 100. And you might be thinking, oh, what is this? If we go to an ASCII table, ASCII table, if we go to the letter h so uppercase h uppercase and lowercase are different so if you go to uppercase h and then go to the decimal value it is 72 that's the first thing that's printed out and then if we go to lowercase e lowercase e it is 101 that's what's printed out next we've got 208 and then another 108 here which is the owls and we can find that in the lowercase l right here so uh, the other one I want to show you is the 32, that is the space, 32, so the space character. So this, so runes essentially allow you to get the ASCII values of the characters in a string. If you want to get the ASCII value of a particular, you know, character, instead of all the characters, you can do print epic string dot code unit at now put the index, so if I put index 1, we'll get 101 printed out. Because remember, computer start at 0, so 0 would be the first one, 1 would be the second one, 2 would be the third one, etc. So that's how you, you know, essentially just get ASCII values. And we can do it, you know, there's not much more to it than that. There's a, there is one extra method. And what I'm going to do is actually provide a link and I want you to, as an extra task, experiment with this, you know, extra functionality and see what you can come up with. Apart from that, that's really all there is to it. Just allow you to get the, you know, the UTF ASCII value of the characters in a string. If you have any questions, you need some help, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.